The second thing we hear Peter say is, you have the words of eternal life. I just said it. And Peter's saying, look, it doesn't all make sense, but here's what I know. Here's what I know, that your words, Jesus, they draw me. They satisfy me. They fill me. They help me in a way that nothing else really does. And they help me in a way that often defies reason or defies my questions, defies my doubts. And I want more of that. You've got something that I want. Jesus' words speak to something deep and timeless in all of us. Think about this. This is why people all over the world, throughout countless centuries, throughout countless cultures, throughout countless countries, have loved the words of Jesus. Challenging and confusing as they may sometimes be. This has been the case for thousands of years until this very afternoon. Now, all of that does not prove that they are absolutely true. It doesn't. But it does mean that they are worth reading and they're worth wrestling with. And my question for you today is, whatever that hunger is inside you, whatever, whatever it is that you're longing for, could it be that what you're hungry for is Jesus? And you keep trying to put bread in there and it's not working. Could it be that Jesus is what you're hungry for. He alone has the words of eternal life, Peter says. The third thing we hear Peter say is that we have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. We have come to believe and know that you're a Holy One of God. And this tells us that that this is a journey. But as we followed, we come to know and come to believe. Belief is a process, this tells us. Answers to complex questions and problems don't tend to come quickly, do they? It takes time to figure stuff out. The disciples spent three years of intense, close, daily contact with each other and with Jesus, learning from him, seeing how he lived, hearing how he snored. They were close to Jesus. If it took the disciples three years to be able to say things like, we've we've come to believe, we're beginning to understand, then shouldn't we be okay with a slow process of belief? It might take some time. It'll definitely take some patience. It will definitely take some effort to work through it. At some point, they came to believe, not because all their doubts and questions were answered. They came to have faith in Jesus. And like Peter in this moment, you can hold faith and your questions together at the same time. You can. And like Peter, you are and I am definitely still learning, still figuring stuff out, still probably wrong about some stuff because we're all just people, but we can still come to believe as we walk with Jesus with patience. Lord, to whom shall we go, Peter says. You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Do you believe that? Do you want to believe that? 